That is a brilliant analogy. I thought it would be in your wheelhouse. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, honestly, you were saying every, everything. I'm just like, whoop, I have, whoa, the c Is everybody's intro the same way? Just you yes. looking like a beacon of light and hope? <laughs> Go, Adam! Hey. Are you ready? Damn. Why couldn't you just start with something simple and encouraging for me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we doing this? Yes, we're doing okay. it. Okay. I just want to say, just don't touch me. Just give me a second. Okay. Just give me a second. Let's like acclimate. We're on the ice. We're poised. Hey, this is going well. I feel like, okay, now we can touch. Okay. But is, that, the, is the toe pick giving me the like surety of like? Yeah. Here, let's, why don't you okay. gr grab in here so if then if you ever feel unstable. I feel very dignified right now. I, I mean, this in this jacket. for the posture. Yeah. I have to know, how does someone get to become a sex educator? I actually got involved in this industry because I had such a sex life. Um, I was always naturally drawn to the human body. Yes. I was naturally drawn to touch, but I grew up in a West Indian household. Uh, I went to a Catholic school. Me so too. all of those natural interests were quite nicely suppressed very early on. Mm -hmm. I was called lewd a lot in my family, like just for being too touchy. Yeah. And is my... that your love language? Yes. Mine is um, money. <laughs> That's not on the list, but sure. <laughs> yeah, so my natural fascination was deeply suppressed. And when you are suppressed, you mm. can do two things. One, turn into a nun, or you can find the backdoor route. And uh, <laughs> I did, and so I grew up watching a lot of porn and reading a lot of fiction books. And I actually thought that the clit was inside of the vaginal canal. Because I'm like, that's why in porn they screen so much. So. Right. It's on the outside, right? It's on the outside, correct, yes. The clit is just a penis underwater. Basically, like, the, the clit is the I'm sorry. iceberg. You're gonna have to start the f over. Okay, I have to stop for this, all right? Okay. <laughs> okay. We all develop first as women. And if you turn into a male, yes. then your ovaries would descend and come outside of the bodies uh -huh. and then turn into testicles. And your clitoris actually just extends outwards into a penis. But the fascinating thing is. So, even wait, though, so basically, a penis is a lazy vagina. Yes. Just gutted out, just hanging out. Yeah. yeah, just doing too much on the outside. Yeah. And the clit is shaped like a wishbone. And so that's why a lot of, I think, female sensation and sexual play is untapped into mm -hmm. because there's so much more. And so the clitoral head is one part of the clitoral play that you can engage in. I, like, Not that I, any of this matters to you, but you no, know, just, I'm, I'm so... just an FYI. So the first move I want to teach you is called a three turn. I'll go first and okay. then I'm gonna help you through. So you're gonna push and you're gonna turn like that. And it's called a three turn because if you look on the ice, you make the pattern of a three. Okay. So you're gonna push from the ball of your foot right here, like there. Okay. Exactly, All good, right. okay. So now let's try, and now you're gonna hold on to me for balance. Okay, I'm focusing. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna push and turn. So let's try one more. Okay. Okay, so push. <laughs> there we go, that's not bad. I made you do all the work, I mean, and I love you for it. It's like typo. <laughs> yeah. So how do you become good at dating? What okay. is like dating advice? Let me give you two quick and dirty tips. Okay, um, <laughs> listen. There's a quiz called the VAK quiz. It's to find out what kind of learner you are, what environments you thrive in. Do you thrive in a visual environment, an, an audio environment, or a kinesthetic environment? And so once you know that about yourself, you can determine what kind of date you should be on to be your best self. So this would be oh. a K date. And it's perfect because you feel comfortable on the ice. Mm -hmm. You are in your element right now. So you can be your best you. So dating to me is about setting yourself up to be the best version of yourself. So my second date tip, focus on the other person during the date. If you want the easiest way to get anyone to like you, everyone's favorite topic is themselves. Right. So employ what I call the two to one ratio. So for every one question someone asks you, you ask them two in return. 
And by the way, you are killing it on that. You <laughs> I are mean, crushing it. Speaking of all of that, do you just came out with a new book. I did just come out with a new book. Yes, it's called The Game of Desire. <laughs> what a game. What a game it is. So can you tell me about your book? Yeah, essentially it was just what we're talking about to give people a strategy. It's like, do this, walk this way, part your hair that way, make your voice into this, start with this question. Like it's a real step-by-step -step guide. And it's kind of like skating. You start off very mechanical, mm -hmm. but once you get better at it, you find your own flow. You when find you your add own. your own style and yes. finesse. Why do we feel like we can just jump into these things and be experts and then we are so upset when we aren't? Because I think it's just the messaging that we get in society. It's what we're told. It's the movies that we watch. And we're actually now part of a very wonderful generation that is destigmatizing therapy. Because for a long time, therapy was a red flag that there's something wrong with you. And now it's like, no, there's something right with you. Right. Because you don't need to be hurting to go to therapy. You don't, you don't need to have a problem to get better. Yes. Right? You can never stop. I have been in this space for 13 years and I'm still being blown away by information. We're gonna do our second move. I think we're gonna take it back. Three turn was pretty advanced. So bend your knees. How does one skate backwards? So you're just gonna bend your knees and you're just gonna move your butt from side to side and it's just gonna go. And I'm gonna, see so you're moving back, do you see? Exactly. But so you know how like you, you want to like learn the basics? Yes. So basically every basic thing that you did, you can turn into something, right? If we go here. How come you're actually traveling and I feel like I'm just staying in one spot though? Because uh, I've skated longer than for an hour. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know, how do I make my skating look sexier? You know what? The best tip for anything sexual to make it sexier is to slow it down. Oh. Everything, slow it down. I go very slow in the bedroom because the faster you go, the more that things can go wrong. So it's just taking, really? yes. Oh, yes. I'm like. Hit somebody in the face with an elbow. <laughs> Boom, yeah, back, just, you ba -da -da. Really Five minutes. go <laughs> slow. Let me get some momentum and then we'll slow it down. Okay. 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 And we're swiveling. Yeah. And we're swiveling. And we're swiveling. Oh, I see, I love that you like lightly. Just give it a little touch of the <laughs> hair. Yeah. You know what? Because you can actually skate, I would love to see you do it. So you do it and show it to me a little slower and okay. see how that looks. So do I, so I can go like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, with the head spin. Adam. <laughs> so you said that you are in your best relationship yet so far. Yes. I would love to know because all healthy trees start with a healthy seed. Mm. So what was the beginning? We matched on Tinder when I was in Finland for a competition. This was two years ago. Mm -hmm. I obviously went back home after the competition was done. We never met, but I thought he was really charming and really personable. And so then we chatted and we chatted and talked for six months. Wow. And we didn't send like any dirty pictures or anything, which I was like, Boring. is that I'm weird? Well. well, I thought it was weird at first. I was like, is it weird that we haven't done that? But then I was also like, no, this is <laughs> like kind of nice. Like, yes. And I remember we were sending messages and then there was one night I was like, I want to hear the way he talks. So I sent like a little video on Instagram and it was like after I'd taken a shower and you know, my face is, soaking wet looking, covered in lotions. My hair is a disaster and I'm like, I could give a shit. Mm -hmm. But it's a test. He has to answer back in a video so I can hear him talk and he passed the test. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. I love long distance as the foundation of the beginning of a relationship because it truly does force you to do the groundwork. Mm. Because you can't focus on all the other things, how excited we are to be around each other, the physical, well, although sex can be a great foundation for some people, but truly just starting getting to know each other and being in that place where you have no other choice but to listen yeah. and learn and actually be interested in who that person is on the inside. That's really, really well, beautiful. I think it makes this like sex better mm -hmm. when there's that connection. But you are- Best sex you ever had? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Speaking of all of that, let's talk about you now. This is your lesson, your yes. time to shine. Yes. So you're gonna be bending this leg and only the right leg is only gonna Only swizzling go the right leg. Yes. 
Oh, okay. And I'm gonna hold this arm, and this is the arm in front, and you're gonna be like almost on a circle. Very good. See, this is, Whoa. this is, I found the move. I found your move. Rotate from your core here. You're, you're not rotating your hips. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna pump out. Pump. Pump out. Very good. Better, better, better. Pump out. Adam, we're not going anywhere. We're not moving. <laughs> Listen, we've moved a lot further than you think. All right, I'm gonna try it on my own. Okay. You let me know. Not bad. There we go. Other arm in front. There. Yes. This arm? Yeah, I do love that I was like, put your arm in front and you've gone and take the liberties of like you doing the Napoleon. Okay. <laughs> Hand in the jacket. She's about to take over France. It's over for those bitches. I really want to talk about... Do you know what I'm thinking? You say it. The moment, the where, moment where you poked, you it, poked back it back and whipped your hair mm -hmm. around and then just gave me this nice, beautiful look in the eyes. It was just such a nice, flirty, fun moment. I think it brought together both of what we do so well in like one cohesive minute. You taught me how to do that. Do you think so? Yes. It was in you all along. Well, you know I what? I massaged it out. You, someone had to. Right? Well, thank God you did. <laughs> because you know what I'm gonna massage out of you? Your routine. Out of my face and onto the ice. Now opening pose, I would do something, highlight the, there, good, that's it. And now start with your pump. Uh-huh, very good. Yes, these are your best pumps. You know that, right? I do know that, I yeah. feel it. <laughs> now let's do one foot glide. Yeah! Oh my God! Okay, now can you do the back wiggles but make them sexy? I'm gonna get into the motion like this. Yes. Very good. Good, and now an ending pose. I mean, that's good. <laughs> it's, I mean, <laughs> oh my God. You're a star. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I had a blast today. Okay, make sure that you guys follow Shan at... Shan Booty on all socials. Like this video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time on Break the Ice.